Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, all. Yes. So we here we have a prominent guest, and uh, we have the chance to welcome her, and we have to listen her uh, beautiful voice, and also something important related to her natural habit. So I am giving chance to our MPs to hand over all the sections. So welcome, ma'am, please, Anisha, ma'am. And is she done, Hello. Yes, ma'am. Is that ma'am? Sajna, ma'am, play the song, ma'am. Super Nishida, Super Nishida, ma'am. Super Nishida, ma'am. Super Nishida, ma'am. Thank you. Red apple. Yes, I am here. Yes. Good evening, all. Today we all are conducted a guest class. Yes. Yes, red apple. Yes, green apple. We welcome you all. Yes. What next Thank you, ma'am. Today we have a special girls. Show me Rashin. Show me Rashin, doctor. Yes, yes. She has PhD in plant biotechnology. And I'm she's academic director of Omnibus. Yes, yes. We get a special, special girls. Yes. So she gave us to more knowledge about natural way of living and food habits. Yes, yes. So before so, before it, we welcome her with a special song. First we, first we start our prayer song. Yes. So prayer song. First of all, I welcome our Sajina ma'am for the prayer song. Welcome Sajina ma'am. Thank you. Bless me. God bless me. Bless me always. I am your little baby. 
please protect me you are my papa you are my mamma you are my world as well pick me always hug me always with your invisible hand i can see you in the rain fall i can see you in wind i can't touch you but i feel you always in my life thank you super sajna ma'am super super sajna ma'am thank you ma'am super sajna yes 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 next we want to welcome our guest so for it we welcome aishwarya ma'am and josna ma'am for a special dance performance yes welcome aishwarya ma'am and josna ma'am for the welcome dance ma'am for the welcome thank you ma'am thank you ma'am yes good evening everyone here i am husna to convey welcome speech so first of all i want to welcome our master trainer baba alexander sir 
His goodwill ambassador, he has provided excellent knowledge to the NCDC. We welcome you, Baba Sir. Then I welcome our evaluator and strong personality and our senior faculty of NCDC. We welcome Bindu, ma'am. Yes, in, uh, and our friendly and energetic faculty, our Sherin, ma'am. Welcome, Sherin, ma'am. Then I welcome our super guest, Dr. Shaomi Rishim. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Then finally, I welcome our beautiful butterflies from 27th batch. I welcome to all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Snema. Thank you, now, ma'am, for the wonderful welcome speech. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Super. Your speech is very super. Yes. So, green yeah. apple? Yes, it's red apple. Next to me. Next, we invite our energetic and beautiful faculty, Sharon Ma'am. Yes, welcome, Sharon Ma'am. Yes. yes. Thank you all. Thank you, Nishda Ma'am and Anisha Ma'am. And uh, actually, it's your day, Ma'am. You have the chance and you know, opportunity to acquire more knowledge from our eminent guests, for me, Ma'am. And I'm really thankful for NCDC for providing such platform and you butterflies and our Sajna ma'am for organizing the guest class. Really appreciating Sajna ma'am on this occasion. And I'm not taking much time because here we have a guest and she needs to share a lot of knowledge and the most, and most in, uh, important thing, natural way of habit, how we are taking care of our food and all. So, there is no, most of the ladies are facing problems related to PCOD, health issues. They are not taking care of themselves. They may be taking care of their child, family, and all. So here you will get a knowledge, and I hope you will enjoy the day. And I am handing over the section to our guest. Show me, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome to our butterfly garden. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma Welcome, ma Welcome. Thank you so much, my beautiful butterflies. <laughs> and uh, actually, I thoroughly enjoyed your performance. This is the first time I think I, I, I just invited to a beautiful garden because normally uh, it's everything is so formal, just uh, have a lot of uh, uh, welcome speeches and like that. But uh, uh, from the heart, I'm saying I, I'm thoroughly enjoyed. I like the oh, way of presentations like green and, uh, and uh, uh, red apple and all the songs and Aishwarya. Yeah, actually, thank you so much, Aishwarya, because I, I had performed the, the same uh, song. Uh, the dance when I was in 10th standard, when I was in grade 10. So uh, that gives me a, a very good nostalgia. Thank you, Aishwarya, ma'am. Thank you so much. And, Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Um, uh, and see, I heard that the teachers are most unpredictable creatures on earth, right? Because you you sing, you you play music and jokes, you dance and everything. So I'm a teacher and I love to teach every day and I even I, I don't I can't say that um, is every day or it's uh, without a teaching it's uh, it's impossible right I uh, I think that you also uh, have the same feeling that without a teaching your day is not a perfect day right so you people are the emerging teachers and I'm thankful I'm grateful to uh, know all of the beautiful faces and um, as uh, your name like a butterfly is that fantastic and we can move to our topic, right? Natural way of living and food habits. It's a very simple topic. And at the same time, it's a very complicated one because it's very difficult to make a practice in our life. That's the thing. We all know everything. Actually, I don't have the, uh, I don't want to take the classes like uh, this is bad and this is good. And I know, I think that everyone is uh, aware with all these things. But just, uh, we can, I, I think uh, I just make a different, um, uh, different uh, orientation regarding this uh, natural way of uh, uh, living. So let's get started. Okay. So uh, I think I can share. Yeah. Where is my? Yeah. Yes. Natural way of living. 
actually natural way of living has uh, many advantages uh, right because uh, it gives better uh, health and less stress but how does a natural way of life begin that's very that's very difficult right uh, we can say the definition that is uh, this natural way of living is a uh, different for everyone it's different for everyone but i think most people agree that a natural way of life focuses on are uh, reducing the chemical things reducing the toxic substances uh, and uh, the consumption and looking the conventionally and is looking the natural things right so let's uh, look at uh, i just want to ask you that what is the purpose of life this should be an interactive session and not like i am a person who is uh, lecturing you people you, you people are very talented you people are very energetic so we can make that as an uh, interactive session so i am also be happy so what is the purpose of our life yes nishida ma'am husna ma'am what is the purpose of our life purpose uh, means uh, we must live for uh, achieving our goal very good everyone have their own purpose so, yeah yeah nishida ma'am say that we have to achieve our goals perfect and another sajna ma'am live our life happily very good yes and any other so we have different goals and uh, and nishda ma'am says that we have to achieve that goals and the see the human mind is very complicated very so it, it actually is a villain like because if we achieve that goal we want think that we want more <laughs> so if if we ask a billionaire that he want to become a millionaire and he want to become a private want to become a private jet uh, holder so if we achieve goal uh, i think it's not uh, satisfy the life so as one of our uh, ma'am says that the purpose of our life is to be happy so whatever the final thing is that we should happy for happier life or natural way of living we have healthy body and healthy mind only healthy body and of course not the point healthy mind give you a happy man it we all know heard about we all heard about that regarding healthy body i i said before that you should have these things you should avoid these things but we are ignore we are not bothering about our mind as i said i don't know how you can understand this because our mind is a villain actually because if we if 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 you are um, if you are listening my class and think that what is going to happen some inner talks are happening in our mind so uh, you should follow these tips that we should have healthy body and you should have healthy mind then only you can become a happy person so how it's possible healthy body we uh, we uh, aware about healthy body but it's very difficult to aware about the healthy mind right how it's possible so before entering to the uh, food related thing food habits i just uh, follow the food habits but before entering to the food habits i just uh, wish to share some important things regarding the uh, healthy mind because uh, we are uh, uh, we are living in a very busy schedule right we don't have we don't want we don't have any time because i can see that you people are mothers and even that in that you are uh, conducting the seminar and i can see that if uh, if you are performing your kids are beating <laughs> your legs and uh, and uh, like that so uh, that's really appreciated right so natural way of life we can say i told you this is uh, we should have better health and of course less stress but how it's possible how it's possible how to be a natural life so for that we should improve our immune system so in this uh, pandemic situation we should follow this this because we should improve our immune system for uh, improving our immune system we are here that we have to have honey or turmeric and like uh, natural things but apart from that we should have a mental uh, my, health mind so so everyone are setting alarm for wake up right so my first point is you can notice this point this i i think that an oven is telling about this point because we all are we am a person also who is setting a or uh, more than two alarms three alarms like that because even if if a one alarm uh, i just snooze it down 
and uh, so i'm just waiting for the second alarm or third alarm so this is the person we have yeah right so actually the scientific says that you should set alarm go before go to bed you should set alarm to go to the bed at night rather than an alarm to wake up in the morning so what is happening in the morning so actually we are sleeping right we don't know anything in the uh, night time in the sleeping time actually it's a mild death actually scientifically says that as sleeping is a mild death we don't know anything about so when uh, and when an alarm makes sound actually what is happening our lots of metabolic processes are happening in our body right um, that metabolic processes are see just imagine we are sleeping we are in a mild death and we we heard some brrr voices see our alarm is like that no brrr. then only we will get we will wake so uh, so this is the point you should remember that set an alarm to go to the bed or you can go to the bed like uh, at 10 am or 10:30 or 11 don't go for more than that 11 pm okay so set alarm for the night for the sleep at 10 pm or 10:30 or 11 pm fine so so this is the first point i should uh, i would i like to share with you and the second thing is that creating your sleep environment okay so make it as as dark as possible then only we got we get a good sleep and um, you should give fresh air in the morning you should uh, open all the windows and get all the fresh oxygen and evening you just close the uh, window and uh, then only that uh, space is filled with the fresh oxygen okay and your room uh, should be clean and organized and you can just put a notepad be very your bird because you can like uh, you can write a journal uh, journal means you can uh, write the things which is happening in that particular day so how grateful you are how how happy you are and how sad you are you can write all these things and you just are grateful to the god that i just had this day and you just then go for the sleep for don't want to bring all the negative thoughts into the bed okay so be just peace and go for the sleep okay so this is the second point and just creating your sleep routine you can actually you have to start your sleep routine before the uh, two, before one or two hours because uh, just uh, you just switch off all the devices like mobile phones laptops and uh, anything and uh, you just uh, shut down that and uh, go for the simple talks with the family and just uh, roaming here in the in the garden your garden and just make a peaceful mind and go for sleep okay so and uh, and had your dinner in at 8:30 like that so then only uh, in in between that the two hours all the foods are digested and uh, your stomach is empty and it's very good for you and and and, and it's very uh, good for your immune system also and your digestive system so uh, just having your uh, dinner and then you just had your dinner at 9:50 and then go for sleep at 10 is horrible actually so nothing is digested in that time so uh, so this is my third point and then we wake up in the morning so normally all the things are started in the morning right but i should say that so because see if if sajana ma'am is called uh, sajana ma'am has called me for uh, or six months before i just say that ma'am no i am not a person who is uh, taking this class because at, at that time see if we, if we are speak anything or if we are doing anything and we should follow that right that's a that's a good thing right so if she asked me uh, six months before i i i said to her that i am not a person who is taking all these classes so now i am following these kinds of routines and it, and uh, it incredible changes are happening my uh, i just feel 24/7 happiness i'm not saying a blunder because i just feel that i'm how grateful i am and this i'm in the way of like uh, it's a flying flying a bird so so trust me you just follow all these things you can get a natural way of living with a good good food habits trust me okay so wake up in the morning and you just have the breathing exercise or you can go for a meditation and in uh, youtube or google you can uh, you, you you will get uh, very good meditations 
so you can take any good meditations or uh, the next thing is this uh, this breathing technique can we do together this 555 breathing technique is anyone heard about this 555 breathing technique uh, mahesh no ma'am no ma'am okay. no ma'am no ma'am okay so can we do it together yes ma'am okay yes. fine you people are highly energetic so i am also excited okay so just uh, close your uh, close your eyes and just i when i take uh, when i uh, tell you that just to take a inhale you just inhale the oxygen through the nose and exhale to to the through the mouth okay so just close your eyes so the first round i just i uh, sorry i just give you the uh, rules and regulations so we have a five 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 breathing technique so there are three rounds round one is take a five deep breath slowly and the next five is just inhale and hold for five second and exhale okay then the next third round is inhale and hold for five second and just reflect i will say something and just reflect or you just visualize all the things what us uh, uh, hearing and just exhale okay so let's get started so five 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 breath technique okay just close your eyes so round 1 just inhale inhale through your nose and exhale through the mouth inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth and finally inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth this is uh, in this pandemic situation this is very beneficial to uh, do all the this techniques in your morning time and we move on to the second round that is inhale and hold for 5 second and exhale so inhale 1 2 3 4 5 exhale inhale One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And we on to the third round. That is inhale. Hold for five seconds and reflect. Just inhale. Hold for five second and think about you and think about yourself. You love yourself and exhale. Inhale. Hold for five second and think your relations like your partner, the most loving person in your life, and visualize the beautiful moments and exhale. and think of your relatives your parents your kids your family and visualize the beautiful moments how grateful you are how blessed exhale inhale then think about your close friends all the friends see their faces in mind and feel the gratitude and how blessed you are you have lots of friends and exhale and last inhale hold for 5 second and grateful to everyone around you everyone just for the emotions just focus on the emotions just visualize the emotions and feel the gratitude see how blessed we are exhale and slowly open your eyes so this is the and uh, how you feel that if you are done this uh, it's perfect manner you just feel some refreshment yes ma'am yes anisha thank you anisha so this is a 555 breathing that make you uh, you just uh, practice this in the morning so definitely you just uh, you felt the difference okay trust me 
okay so this is the so just we are uh, we, we wake up in the morning and do all the meditation for this uh, breathing techniques okay now the thing is that drink 6 to 8 glasses of water per day this i think everyone knows about this right we have to have lots of water but the uh, what having water is i think it's almost in the wrong manner we are drinking water in a standing position so actually we should have we should drink our water in a sitting position that's only the correct the biological process is happening and the digestion will be perfect and uh, you should have uh, two glasses of the light, slight hot water in the empty stomach in the morning two glasses so that will uh, improve the uh see all are sleeping in the night all the mechanisms are sleeping all our st- our uh, esophagus our uh, stomach our small intestine our large intestines everyone are sleeping everyone are in a rest like right only our heart is working you know in the night so what is happening so when we had two glasses of water in the empty stomach they get up they they are fresh and they start their work so just had two glasses of water in the morning that this definitely will uh, help you to remove all the pcos and everything okay so you should follow these things and and as we all know you have to drink the water before the meal and after after the meal after one hour of the meal and don't have don't drink water uh, in the bed time because this will definitely uh, make you fat and it because because it will destroy the digestion process okay so before one hour you have to um, close our stomach okay you have to close our mouth actually okay just to sip with the closer yeah. <laughs> okay then so just had two glasses of water in the morning and if, uh, in the total day you have to drink uh, eight glasses of water then this is the thing i should uh, uh, tell to all the abroad uh, students because it's uh, when i was in qatar i just uh, delivered my baby in a qatar and i i lacked lots of vitamin d the, that time and my bones are getting fractured every just if if my leg just hit somewhere in a small kind of way and it become injured so just i go for the checkup and uh, the doctor says me that you had a lack of vitamin d so this is very important that you just go out and receive some sunlight because you can receive sunlight uh, at the morning like 7 7:30 or in uh, during the day time of your country okay so should go out and receive some sunlight this is absolutely good for your health okay actually we are afraid of the sun light because we got uh, this kinds of burning this kinds of cancer like that all the uv radiations are coming yeah that's right all the uv radiations are coming U- uv a b c all are coming from sun but uh, just uh, go out and receive the morning sunlight okay this only this this much is enough this much is explored this much is enough to explore only your hand and and don't want to explore all your body uh, body parts you just you just uh, re- uh, you you just relax and go just go outing okay okay then yeah then getting sunlight stimulates vitamin d of course i told you uh, vitamin d is very important otherwise you are born uh, you feel uh, rickety uh, your your uh, legs become uh, like curved like that okay you just it's it affect the melatonin okay so and of course it's good for it makes you sleep better and feel better okay so just go outside and receive some sunlight then the thing is move your body it's very difficult because we all know and i know that so many people are uh, get up in the morning and do all the things what i said is yeah ma'am i had two glasses of water and i just took all the medications and it's perfect and yeah i go outside and I take this vitamin d and yes move your body it's it, it's been i think uh, only two or three days is they were, they perform the move your body and uh, or do all the exercise then after three days or four days it the program it closed the terminator so actually uh, it see we are we all are human beings and it's very uh, it's for, it's natural thing that we got a laziness this is the thing i i said that all the laziness comes from our mind that 
why i told you that you should give good uh, health for your mind all the laziness are come from your mind right the mind says that oh today is very cold you just uh, you just sleep baby and feel better don't go, don't want to go for uh, exercise at all right isn't it Mm-hmm. I, yes i think everyone are facing see i i'm also a person who feels for sunday i i i in kerala it's sunday's holiday no so sunday it's a holiday for my all the body and everything so i just um, i took and early morning and to do all my prayers and again i go for the bed and sleep so this is the thing is happening because so i just say that sunday is my relaxation day it's cheap day i never do all the <laughs> physical activities on sunday so uh, why because it's a uh, we our body needs a warm up see i uh, as i mentioned earlier that we all are sleeping it's a mild death for the body so so uh, all the organisms have to start see in the industries Uh, uh, lots of uh, industries are working 24/7 or otherwise they they make it shut down shut down process so everyone needs some rest right and the next day when they are open it they just go and uh, open all the instruments uh, for just half an hour then after half an hour only they go for the work mm-hmm. that's because everyone need every every body or every instruments need the warm up so at least to do the warm up just raise your hand or do the surya namaskar like that or just stretches or okay so uh, the best thing i just uh, uh, i have a exercise that just take the 15 push ups for all the men and women just 15 push ups and do all the squats you you heard about the squats like and you have to do all the jumping jacks jump and this is the jumping jacks you can just google it and you will get all the videos from the youtube okay then just go for the plank this is only enough this is the only uh, exercise you have to do no don't want to go for the gym and everything okay why because see our body uh, so our body has two different types of circulatory system we all familiar with the blood right two different circulatory system two things are moving in our body inside it blood and lymph we all are familiar with blood right but one person is the lymph actually what is the function of lymph is lymph carries uh, all the undigested fats and uh, it travels around uh, all body and clean and eh? clean our body so that is the function of the lymph so when we move move up when we warm up the lymph should be very energetic and he do all the cleanliness process in the morning we should clean our home no we should clean our home so that same time we should clean our body for that we have we are having two glasses of hot water and i have lukewarm water and all the exercise okay so that is the biological process is happening in the warm up process all our body get warm up as the name mentioned that's all the body become all the organs become warm up yes i am ready for the Uh, 20, for the this day performance heart is saying that i'm ready for and our stomach is saying that i'm ready for your digestion process and all the small intestine large intestine and our everything liver pancreas everyone are see just imagine that every organs are uh, wake up in the morning and says that thank you so much my dear anisha thank you so much mehza thank you so much nishida for doing all the warm up for me just imagine that all your organs are saying that thank you sajana for doing all the warm up and i am getting more energetic now and i am going to do all the uh, functions in a very perfect manner we just imagine how beautiful right how beautiful like you bibber yes and and of course then when you warm up you just improve the uh, uh, that um, flexibility then you can reduce the aging yes and all the female all the women want the reduced age so you just warm up you you just follow what i am saying then so we want to redu- we have to reduce our age right 
Yes, so you just improve your flexibility. Okay, that's more than enough. And that should also improve your immune system. Okay, and another thing is cardio exercise. Cardio exercise is uh, also, uh, it's, uh, just you just put some effort because uh, you just have to improve your cardio, the heart. Will, it will give you a longer and better quality of life. Okay, and the thing, last thing, the, the, who makes you feel great? Just spend more time with your partner, with your spouse, your kids, your family members, and the persons who love the most. Why? Because see everything. So we all are we all are uh, actually visualizing, or we need all these things, right? We should have a time to uh, spend lots of good moments with our partners or with our loving um, persons. Why? Because at the, all the uh, same times, you just uh, visualize, I think all the people are married, like you just visualize you are uh, just uh, the few days after the marriage, how happy you people are, right? Yes, Ajna ma'am, am I right? <laughs> but how you feel now, how you are very, uh, you people are very stressed with the students' classes and everything. So why? Because we are happy because at that time, our love hormone is produced dramatically. So you should focus to love, loud every time or to be love, love everyone. Okay, so what is happening inside now? Because when, when you do all these emotions, all the positive emotions, lots of good hormones are, are uh, uh, emerging in our body. So this is oxytocin hormone. Oxytocin hormone is called a love hormone. When you have love to your kids, your parents, your friends, your relatives, and your auntie, your uncle, and this oxytocin is produced, and this love hormone is produced, this gives you much health, and this gives you much wealth also. Yes. And spend some time outdoors. Definitely you have to go to outdoor with your family and spend and uh, some time uh, like a beach or park or uh, some uh, natural like forest or uh, like see uh, so spend some time with the family outdoor so in outdoor it's a very it's a new a new place for me because we all are living in a home and every day we are seeing all the places so we should have a change so at least uh, uh, at least once in a month you should make an out, uh, out trip or a tour like that uh, with the family. Okay, so these are the things. Uh, now I move on to the food habits. These are the things you should remember. Uh, set an alarm to go to the bed at night, creating your sleep environment, create your sleep routine and go for meditation or breathing exercises, drink eight glasses of water, go out and receive some sunlight is very important and to move your body and do some warm-up exercise and a cardio exercise and spend some time with the family in in outdoors okay so definitely your mind will be healthy when you do all these things definitely your mind will be healthy so if your mind is healthy definitely your body become because see actually uh, see these the hormones don't well, see um, you be, I think you people are uh, realizing that since this, when you when you feel the happiness, you can feel that you are more beautiful and you are more energetic and you are more powerful. See, no one can hate you. Everyone is loving you. So the the first thing is that just um, just focus your mind and give some positive vibes to the mind. So then only we, we can more go, normally what is happening now, uh, everyone are focusing the food habits. So I, I never believe that if we are focusing only on the food habits, we, now, we can never be happy in our lifetime. We should create all these things. We should create all the positive vibes in our circumstances. If we are happy and our circum, everyone are happy. So you just uh, you just think that if you feel any regret, if you feel any angry, if you feel any any kind of negative emotions to someone else, you just focus to yourself. You just focus to yourself and asking yourself that what is happening? 
is am i happy no i'm unhappy then then only that's the only thing that see the best example is mom child relationship if a mom is angry say i am experience this if i am see my my baby is only 4 year old and i i just sometimes i feel very much angry to her because she if she is doing some kind of naughty things if i'm i get angry to her what is happening she is also getting the negative emotions and uh, but she is see child children are you you people and children are very uh, very loving persons right like beautiful butterflies in the garden they don't they don't have any negative thinking they don't have any negative emotions we are the only persons who give all the negative emotions to them Thank so you. just uh, just focus yourself and just uh, build yourself healthy build your mental healthy and every the all the problems are finished i think i think all the problems are comes from the mind so natural way of life or uh, this is only you should focus on your mental health then only you have to focus on your food habit so we have to move on to the nutrition and as i said earlier that lots of chemicals are around it's everywhere like lots of toxic materials it's in our home in our office in our meals yeah nowadays we can't get any uh, proper uh, rice like see in our country in kerala we got uh, I, i don't know but i realized that because if we uh, if we making our rice no it feels some plastic so it's everything it's toxic substances right so the most important toxic substances is sugar i must say that it's a very uh, i am i'm sad to say because everyone are love sweets even i am also a sweet person i love chocolates donuts uh, but what to do sugar is a villain you know i will tell you this with uh, lots of statistical data and and i actually wondered when i realized this thing right so because uh, in earlier days all the species are facing the scarcity because uh, sometimes we all know that fruits are uh, like uh, available in some seasons only right so in many season in especially in winter season all the species of course the human species and all the animals and everyone are facing the scarcity so the business people so the lobbies thought that yeah if it is available in every every time in every seasons that should be more powerful and that should be more productivity so all the business people bring or toxic substances and now see every fruit are available in every time we can say 24/7 right now we can't say now seasonal fruits right it's so nowadays uh, nowadays we can get uh, we got mangoes now in a winter season also we got mangoes and uh, strawberries and everything we got even in uh, in our kerala it's a strawberry is not a place who is cultivated in uh, cultivated in kerala strawberry but we we got strawberries because everything is uh, everything is available in this and every season so, so very much aware about that Sh- and one more thing sugar is in everything you just you do one thing you just purchase you go for shopping and uh, you you purchased all the um, grocery grocery items for your home and you just uh, for just look the ingredients you can see the sugar in every product in different different names in different different chemical names right i think sugar have a more than 90 uh, 99 names or 100 names in the chemical uh, formula so it's a very danger thing sugar is a very danger thing and i must say that see uh, yeah for example tomato sauce we are using tomato sauce our children very much loved it tomato sauce they just pour in plate and just make it so in a tomato sauce 9 gram of sugar is uh, added in the tomato sauce so uh, sugar see um, why this uh, manufacturing food lobbies added sugar in every products because this keeps this improves the hunger and it improves the addictiveness 
all our children are addicted to sugar even we also we too right and uh, if we go for the 60 60000 different package in food 74 percentage see this is the uh, statistical data you can see added sugar is hiding in 74 percentage of packed foods seven in packed food 74 percentage of sugar content are there so so we are getting addicted in sugar how horrible right see you can see uh, in chocolate candies you can see so you just uh, you uh, when you go for in a supermarket you just uh, look uh, where these kinds of colorful candies are placed you can see that these colorful candies are uh, packed in a plastic bottle very clear bottle and it should see the height of the uh, shelf the small baby can take the candy right this is a marketing strategy all these sugar candies are kept in a specific height and based on the heights of the baby so this technique is called pester power it's a, uh, see uh, this is it's a mafia is under this sugar industry pester power is a commonly used by marketing companies to target the toddlers or to target the 6 years below 6 years old okay because they are getting attracted to this candies and um, ask their parents to buy all these things right especially to influence their parents to make certain purchases right so mm-hmm. every children are crying we need mamma we need this so we just look around so everyone are facing us so just yes take 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 so take any number see this is happening in our right so mm-hmm. yes so uh, this is also conflict see i am a person in the i think uh, five years before i had uh, conflicts because it's very healthy in the morning uh, breakfast i eat good conflicts uh, the lots of milk and the dry fruits and i feel that how rich i am i go to all the proteins and i i am very micronutrient but the fact is that the number one ingredient in the conflicts is sugar you just you just research it okay number one ingredient is sugar actually sugar lobby had a brilliant play brilliant game in this marketing in 1916s sugar industry realized actually they realized that sugar is causing heart diseases you just you just hear my words i am telling the truth okay no one i think no one came to tell this truth even the doctors see in 1960s sugar see i i i don't have any business i have the only business like i'm running an educational institution i'm not a person who is uh, blaming all the sugar industries but the the fact is that in 1960s they realized that sugar industry is causing heart disease what what the brilliant people what they are doing no they just shifted blame to fat actually uh, now we people are very much afraid to hear the cholesterol level and regarding the fat you just google it or you just ask to a doctor who is very passionate or who is very genuine he must say that sugar is more crucial than fat actually this is the practice of sugar industry sugar industry shifted blame to fat the, this is the uh, report which came in the new england journal of medicine us Uh, uh, performed a, a, a research and they realized that uh, sugar industry is causing the major heart disease right and what is happening uh, <clears throat> in the 19 up to 1970s uh, the uh, they uh, under 40 a 40 age of people uh, they don't have any type 2 diabetics but us uh, they uh, performed some scientific uh, research and they they discovered that 20 million people have type 2 diabetes now see the difference because we are having that much sugar and we are afraid of fat we do, we are um, afraid to have full fat milk see Uh, see i what how i can tell me that i am a person who is uh, very health conscious and i am very much afraid of fat i i quit uh, all the full fat milk and everything and i had sugar and i just work out but uh, no use you just when you when you people have just avoid sugar this this will be very beneficial 
okay and uh, the research says that 70 kilo kilo 70 kg of sugar is having per year per year say single person see i'm i'm shaumi i'm having 70 kg of sugar if i if i had a lot of much sugar and nishida you also having 70 kg so just imagine that see just when you um when you have a single cup of tea you just keep one table of sugar in uh, or if you are have if your person is having two glasses of tea you just separate two two tablespoons of sugar uh, for the one year and just wait the just go for the uh, shop or, or ju just wait the sugar packet i think or uh, definitely or 30 30 40 kg of sugar we are having per year uh, when we are having just two glasses of milk or two glasses of tea see how villainous sugar is right so sugar when if we are having sugar then sh sugar stimulates us to store fat that i will tell you clearly why because yeah you should you should say no to sugar and um, uh, and here i would like to play a video but the time i think uh, that video i think you can just google it because in a coca cola company uh, they show some uh, ad that uh, see all the sugar see you can see the dairy milk or you can see all the sugar products the video you know it's very touchy it's very emotional you just and you just uh, watch all these things it's uh, some kinds of emotional thing is happening under this so it's very difficult to say no to sugar is i'm a person no i am a person who is having sugar but in a very limited way why because i know all these things so i'm trying to uh, deliver these kinds of facts having a sugar uh, makes problem to you people so if uh, one or two uh, started to i'm not saying that you just say completely no to sugar it's very impossible just to say a little bit no to sugar if uh, if lots of sugar things are come to us if uh, take a courage to say no i don't want now don't want to completely avoid sugar things because if we are having lot of sugar that is the main because we have to focus our children because see and we are uh, nowadays we are uh, we i think in this generation or after 30 or 40 only we are having this kind of sugar like we are going outside and having all the ice creams chocolates but think about our children they grow up with the sugar in 3 years 4 years children even my baby like chocolate ice cream so it's very difficult to uh, come back from the sweet so i'm afraid about their future because they are having this much of sugar in their age and what will happen in the next future i definitely say that the uh, uh, the uh, uh, lots of diseases are coming see now a new um uh, cancer is uh, happening through the sugar and all this kinds of foods but what to do so it's very difficult is is it easy or difficult how you feel about of course difficult so how you people do it so just uh, the thing is just aware about it that's the only uh, only solution i feel that just if you aware about all the red signals all the problems of uh, what's happening in the sugar and you can uh, definitely just say little bit uh, no to the sugar so uh, so um, then we can move on to the uh, carbohydrates actually carbohydrates is also not a good thing for us because we are having especially malayalis are having lots of carbohydrates in our food right we have lots of rice and um, lots of uh, <coughs> our morning routines our breakfast are with the full of completely full, with the full of rice flour and like that so we are having lots of rice rice is a carbohydrate and it's not a good thing why because this so so uh, just look at this picture this sugar molecule is converted into sugar molecules sorry starch molecule is converted into uh, this sugar molecule starch is you, uh, i think you may know about lots of simple sugars are um, joining and form a starch molecule so if we are having rice or if we are having uh, any carbohydrates food what is happening after digestion in our stomach they all converted into small small sugar molecules so is this good or bad 
uh, so uh, we can say it's not 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 much bad but we should uh, we should uh, just uh, adjust our having tendency of uh, carbohydrates okay so so there are there are different types of carbohydrates are there that is sugars of course we uh, talk about it and starches starches also it's a complex carbohydrate and i thought it's made up of lot of simple sugars and uh, your uh, your body needs to break all the starch into sugar molecules so it's a it's also sugar is also deposited so this not much good this is not much bad and also as well as not much good so the thing uh, you can have as a carbohydrate we can use fiber fiber is also a carbohydrate and as well as um, a protein and many foods that come from plants like uh, fruit vegetables seeds like some uh, kind of seeds uh, like um, nuts and uh, uh, cashew nuts like that and uh, sometimes of seeds no badam like that this also having good source of fiber and protein and whole grains go for whole grains that is yeah this is a, this is the whole grain so if we are using lots of uh, uh yes a maida right uh, so this is a white grain so all the uh, qualified thing is removed all the bran is removed so go for whole grains not refined grains okay and these are the uh, thing this is the whole grains you can go for whole wheat whole oats yeah brown rice this is very good but the thing is that these are we all know that these are good brown rice is very good but it's not tasty right when we compare the white rice how we go for brown rice wild rice <laughs> it's very difficult and we all know that all the uh, common purpose flour is um, all the uh, food items which makes using the common purpose flour like uh, uh, like uh, all the uh, baked items like pubs and all the things are very much good very much tasty <laughs> that's the main thing all the um and not much uh, <laughs> that the good things are not uh, it's a much tastier so that's a very uh, difficult thing to avoid all these things so i i always say that don't want to say completely no okay you just have it but you just make a limit to it okay and this is the focus on slow car uh, carbohydrate you can use root vegetables and occasional fruits is good for carbohydrates and little bit of honey from time to time you can have a little bit of honey okay is there any problem uh, i can hear that rec recording is stopped is there any problem no okay fine is <laughs> in a progress okay fine so uh, these are the good carbs like banana you can have banana sweet potatoes beetroots then blueberries apples and all the fruits is like that okay these are very good for carbs then move on to the protein uh, yeah protein is is now very familiar with the gym uh, many a persons because everyone are uh, i think around that bottle have a 4000 5000 for per kg like that okay so it's very costly and all the people are uh, go for this protein powder and having all the protein powder dress but i think no need to uh, for the gym persons they need that much protein because they are they have a brilliant workout there so they need that much protein but for us we can easily go for this milk chicken dal egg nuts this oil seeds no sunflower seeds or like uh, flax seeds like this much of and you can uh, yeah rich protein rich foods uh, hummus you can use hummus avocado and whole grain and the cheddar cheese string cheese egg milk all these things okay uh, so you can go for all this is broccoli these all are very yogurt yogurt is a very good protein content thing so you can go for these kinds of protein rich foods in your meal okay popcorn so if if uh, if your children is uh, crying for the snacks you can uh, give them popcorns or hummus or like that all not much sugary content okay you can give uh, this kinds of things okay 
and yeah the importance of proteins is protein is much needed for our digestion because is every children they need 40 30 or 40 g of protein per day okay why because protein is uh, helpful to digest uh, our urea uric acid like that because our urine is eliminated urea urea is eliminated through urine but uric acid is not eliminated from the body so if we don't have if we don't have much protein in our food what is happening all the uric acid is dumped in our body so you may heard about lots of people having a lot uh, knee pain and they have creatine high uh, and high uric acid that's only because of they have to uh, in uh, improve the uh, input of protein okay so that uh, otherwise they have some rheumatic disorders like that okay then we move on to the fats fats are of course there are uh, bad fats other and uh, uh, good uh, fats are there hdl and ldl and you can go for good fats like uh, butter olive oil avocado and nuts all these things some kinds of fatty fish like uh, salmon like that okay okay and this also improves our immunity and the fat is also save us from the cold because if we are a person who is living in a very cold places you should have a good fat okay and healthy high fat would these are i i mentioned earlier that the sunflower seeds are is very much uh, good for protein and our coconut oil what is happening no we just uh, when we heat the coconut oil that is uh, making the good fat to uh, bad fat so you can use coconut oil freshly uh, we are preparing uh, like uh, some vegetable stew or some uh, vegetable salads no you just uh, pour the um, coconut oil as like that and just have it okay and almonds you can have almond salmon like that okay and it's how is done so you just focus it's see i told you that's very difficult to uh, in practical in our life right so just see what you are eating so when you go to start something you just just see what i am eating of it is a highly sugar content thing just bit take a bit of thing and just uh, uh, remove it or otherwise you can say uh, i don't need now or you can choose green leafy vegetables and no uh, drink lots of water and in of course include enough proteins in your diet and the thing is to uh, chew your food how see this actually see uh, when uh, i think you people may know about that how a cow is chewing their food they slowly chewing and uh, take all the foods they i think they are chewing in around 15 minutes and then only they just uh, go uh, move on to the bed. so just to chew your food i think 32 times uh, we should chew our food but what is happening we just <laughs> i don't know then uh, keep away from fast food and soft drinks of course it's very difficult because we all are living in a that, that an, an environment because we can see kfcs we can see chicken shawarma so it's very difficult to say no even i am a person who is very difficult to say completely no to shawarma i, am, I love shawarma so when i go, go to the shop i just uh, ask uh, i just ask them that just i need this uh, i don't want to put to that um, uh, uh, mayonnaise into it and don't uh, don't put that sauce into it like that so i just prefer i just customized my own shawarma and they will bring definitely so you can have shawarma with healthy shawarma like then of course cook at home cook at home <laughs> and focus on your food never skip your breakfast that's very important never skip your breakfast breakfast is the king okay so never skip your breakfast and boost your digestion and you can i, I my personally we all are, i think all are malayalis or south indians like uh, so breakfast suggestions you can you know, use two idli with sambar or chutney or wheat put and dosa and chapati and you can prefer egg whites okay then you can also have vellapam right that's white appam and with the kadala and egg curry like that so these are the and and just reduce the amount of just have two idli like that okay and say no thanks to empty calories so these sugar things that they didn't get give any nutrition to our body they just give simple calorie 
see we can see in our all the food packets the, this much gives this much calorie we don't want much calorie because they don't give the much nutrition to us so it's okay to say no so eat well my dear butterflies and this is also i again remind you that drinking water after waking you have to have two glasses of water and 30 minutes before a meal one or 30 minutes before a meal it improves the digestion and before taking bath okay one glass water before taking bath and it helps lower blood pressure if you people are having any bp lower blood pressure you just have uh, you just had a glass of water uh, before taking bath okay then before going to sleep avoid stock and hot okay uh, uh, before one hour you have you can have uh, one glasses of water it definitely reduces the stock and uh, heart attack okay so live life love life and be healthy and enjoy the life okay thank you उट So we welcome all of the the clear okay yes welcome all share your doubts okay come on friends ask your doubt hi hi ma'am yes actually my name is mehzabin <laughs> yeah my doubt is that um, you told that sugar is the very toxic substance so there is there any alternative for white sugar can we replace it with jaggery or coconut sugar brown sugar like that is it healthy to use all that yes it's very good question definitely you can go for jaggery white sugar and you can use alternate that doesn't matter so uh, just uh, keep your children that you just if we taste the uh, sugar what we are using now Uh, the taste is good if we go for jaggery or see the imagine you are having tea with jaggery it's not much tasty rather than when we think uh, compare about the with the sugar artificial sugar so just uh, give our children at least our children to uh, just use this all the uh, sweet things uh, with alternate like uh, jaggery white sugar like that brown sugar like that because if we they if we they taste the uh, artificial sugar it's very difficult to get back from it we we people are uh, we are facing the same kind of situation right yes ma'am one more doubt is that you can use honey also it's a very powerful thing okay but we can't believe which honey is good which is made in a very natural way and all yes that is the problem <laughs> that's yeah. the main thing that nowadays see the uh, every every world business is uh, there in every world so it's very difficult to get a natural thing so better thing you, you just prepare your food in your courtyard in your garden and just uh, have and i think nowadays we get a uh, lots of uh, yeah, i think a uh, lots of people are uh, providing natural things organic things and it's highly costly that's the main problem we can't afford it so organic thing yes thank you man one more doubt is that uh, we can find many brand uh, oil like rice barn oil then canola oil olive oil that in different forms and coconut oil is also there some say that coconut oil is healthy to use some is of the suggestion that uh, coconut oil can increase the cholesterol level so what's your opinion ma'am in every country uh, see uh, see i think we all are malayalis in our kerala we have coconut we don't have olives right so we are, we people are in our uh, gen, uh, before generation ancient people are using coconut oil they don't have this much of cholesterol and right but in this generation in this new generation we people are having this much of 
cholesterol that's not only because of the coconut oil that's i i just uh, coconut oil is a very good see now you just uh, google it uh, now in the us or uk or other uh, uh, foreign countries are using coconut oil now because they they knew the uh, advantages of the coconut oil but the thing is that we are using coconut oil in a different manner we uh, we just boil the coconut oil and um, do all the curries and all so that's the main thing if we use raw coconut oil it's uh, very good and you can use coconut milk also but again that's the main problem when we are preparing the fish curry or any other curry we just boil our coconut milk in uh, two times or three times see a, see we prepared a, a fish curry today and uh, this uh, this is okay for today and we just heat it and boil it and just uh, use the next day how tasty it is <laughs> but uh, yeah, so <laughs> the thing is that when it boiled again and again that much of oil content is coming in that particular you can see it right the oil content above that curry is yeah, much much layer. Much, yeah layer of thing is it's increased so that's the thing the, the all the you can use coconut oil or you can use olive oil and the thing is that the way of use usage is very important yes thank you so much ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am again ma'am so i have one doubt ma'am yes anisha okay now uh, uh, pemlier is the pcod so it's a because of uh, junk food or any other yes that's because of junk food only because i have uh, i have pcod i had pcod because uh, in my two ovaries uh, i had uh, Uh, lost much much amount of ovaries PCOS, so that time only I aware about the food habits. So it's very difficult for me to conceive because when I was doing my PhD and I just complete my degree and I just go for my husband. He was working in Qatar, and then I try for for conceiving my baby. It's it's not get it's getting wrong. So that time I realized that my so that time see. we are especially with moving on the abroad we have a, um, a manner that we are having i i am a person who is having lots of shawarma daily daily i have, because i love shawarma and i am not much having chocolate but i i i had shawarma uh, daily or alternate days so that time i uh, over gained like a 10 kg so i i realized that that's the thing uh, this my pco is coming uh came to my body so i just control i i never go for a doctor uh for the treatment like that so i just control my food i just reduce my sugar intake i just um, just control my food like, like, like that so then just after 2 3 months i just conceived my baby mm -hmm. thank you thank you so thank you nisha ma'am uh, then ma'am i have a doubt ma'am yes nisha ma'am that is my uh, now we know uh, all children are very like noodles uh, noodles is uh, made with maida ma'am but in nowadays uh, now uh, the noodles some noodles uh, which uh, made by uh, what uh, my wheat uh, and ragi wheat and ragi uh, made in noodles are available that is good ma'am actually we should focus on the ingredients i just give an example that about arrowroot biscuit yeah. you may familiar with arrowroot biscuit mm -hmm. actually arrowroot is a very organic thing that is uh, uh, i just you may heard about kuwa right kuwa yeah, yeah. So arrowroot actually is made up of kuwa but just uh, just go and uh, ask the arrowroot company that uh, see how difficult the kuwa is make up See, you people are know that kuwa is very available, but uh, it's very difficult to make it as a kuwa powder. So it's arrowroot powder. So I think arrowroot is it's made up of maida only. So but the uh, in the label they uh, written as it's made up of arrowroot. So that the thing is happening in the uh, business industry, but we can never believe that these are all our um, wheat or these all are uh, like ragi and so. and i think pasta is actually good for health i just heard uh, my doctor 
uh, my doctor uh, says me that you just have passed uh, when i was uh, carried in sanchi i just wonder pasta is made up of maida no but in there she is i think she is a european she is a britain lady i think in their country the pasta is made up of a whole grain thing whole grain thing but in our country uh, it's made up of maida so that's the main problem you just uh, you just uh, observe the oat which is available in abroad and in kerala or india it's see uh, sajana ma'am you people uh, yes no yeah, abroad we can, yeah it's uh, in oats we can get good quality in abroad but no one is asking that is it good in health we need all thing in cheaper thing cheap it's uh, affordable so we are focusing on the affordable so that's the main problem when we can't say that noodles is good i don't know about it i don't know which company is providing all these things so, so i don't know about it you just um, better thing you just cook prepare uh, wheat uh, noodles uh, in your home because nowadays lots of youtubers are showing all the recipes now <laughs> so you can just prepare see that's the main thing because we so we, we are just about 30 or 20 like that we are having all these junk foods now but think about our children they are having even i'm just afraid about my baby because Uh, she is uh, actually uh, we are always going outside and restricted to give uh, like junk food but sometimes we should force to give give her uh, that junk food but uh, limit limit our children and aware them that's the only solution um, i think thank you ma'am thank you mr dhaman anyone Ma'am, uh, excuse me, ma'am. I have one doubt. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, just before you told, we have to drink two glasses of water after after getting from bed. So two what? Uh, two glasses of water is a uh, cold water or warm water is good. It's a lukewarm water. Better you can yes. use a lukewarm water, mild, mild, hot. Yes. Or you can use uh, the normal water itself, not cold water. Okay. Actually, cold is uh, uh, our stomach. Uh, stomach hates cold. I think. Hmm. Yes, research shows that stomach don't like cold things, but our uh, tongue likes. That's why we are uh, uh, like ice creams and all the cold drinks, and because our tongue likes cold, but our stomach don't like cold. Hmm. Ma'am, then I have one more doubt. uh some actually some people are saying that uh, when they wake up in the morning they used to have some uh, lime uh, lime water and uh, mixed with honey and it helped to reduce the weight yes so yes. is it true ma'am yes 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 that's true yes you can you. use lime something is some when uh, i just as it, it some get allergic to lime if if a person who is highly acidic that person don't like uh, this much of uh, lime in the empty stomach so better i think better uh, start with a day with a two glass of warm water then you can then you can have uh, this uh, lime and honey thank you ma'am thank you mido ma'am anyone have doubts i think no mr ma'am no one has doubt doubt is all cleared by ma'am ma'am the thing her clearly explain yes the whole thing very well thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much time for feedback Yes, Anisha, ma'am. It's now the time of feedback. Yes. So first, we welcome our Mahasubin, ma'am. Welcome, Mahasubin, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. 
Xiaomi ma'am. Actually, your class was so interesting. We didn't feel bored or we just didn't skip away our mind from your talk. We were just concentrating all the topics that you have covered. And you you were the person we were searching for. You covered all the points, like how to have a daily routine, uh, how to live a life peacefully, how to um, get away from laziness. Like that, all the points you have covered and your class was so interesting. Uh, we got very many useful points and um, we can focus it on and we can implement in our daily life. And thank you so much for wonderful presentation. And we are looking forward that one more time you will visit our class with a more interesting topic. So looking forward to you. And Sajana ma'am, thank you so much, Sajana ma'am, that you give, gave us a wonderful person to give a very informative class. So thanking you, both of you and NCDC for giving the opportunity to attend such a beautiful class. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the great words, Mazabin ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, Mazabin ma'am, for your valuable feedback. Thank you, ma'am. Then our next, Midu ma'am. Midu ma'am. Midu ma'am. Yes. Your feedback. Yes. My uh, feedback is also same as Mahasiv ma'am. No words, ma'am. You have explained it uh, fantastic that we don't have any doubts to ask. You have explained it nicely. You have uh, covered almost all the topics of us, uh, unit one, so nutrition. So uh, you have explained how, uh, how we have to be very healthy in life, how to avoid our junk foods, how to avoid PCOT, everything you have covered, ma'am. So very well explained, ma'am. Uh, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Medu. Actually, I am I just I'm not covered your uh, portion because I know that you have to learn. See, I can teach that is in a uh, academic manner what is carbohydrates and what is happening like that. But I think that uh, apart from the academics, if a person who feel that uh, follow all the things which I'm telling to you, uh, I, I that's enough for me. Because this is the truth is happening in our world, in our society, in our circumstances. So I am aware about that and I'm passing the information which I know, I knew to you people. So that's the only thing uh, which I have done today. And thank you so much for your kind words. Yes, ma'am. You have played the role of a three person, a motiva motivational speaker, a nutritionist <laughs> and a health specialist. So these three roles were wonderfully played by you, ma'am. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Yeah, all your class. Huh? Thank you, Midu, ma'am. Next, welcome, Arifa, ma'am. Welcome, Arifa, ma'am. Today, uh, today class, very energetic and uh, energetic, uh, interesting topic. I gained a lot of knowledge. Uh, teacher took the class for us in a good way. And uh, there, are, there are very, very a lot of doubt then about nutrition that was clear uh, thank you ma'am uh, we are all happy now uh, uh, thank you so much for giving such a class uh, shami Sh ma'am thank you see talk thank you ma'am thank you so much arifa arifa i think uh, arifa is the younger uh, uh, student in the class <laughs> no very sweet voice arifa <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you, Arifa. Thank you, Arifa. Thank you, Arifa. Thank you. Then, Anisha, ma'am, what is next? Yes, now the time of pot of thanks. Yeah, yes. Pot of thanks. Because uh, ma'am give many, many knowledge about our health and nutrition. So, it's very helpful to our uh, full life. So, yes. we thanking with a lot of words, ma'am. So, it's, uh, we welcome our Anandi, ma'am. Anandi ma'am, welcome ma'am. Anandi ma'am. Thank you Nishita ma'am. Thank you so much. So good evening to all. I am here, uh, I am very indeed to be a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion of 27th batch 
because today is the greatest guest class we have done that is on the topic natural way of living and food habits. Uh, let me first of all uh, start by my thanks to giving glory to the God for making this occasion a very resounding success. And first and foremost, I thank our special guest, Dr. Shami Reshin, PhD in Plant Biotechnology, Academic Director of Omnibus, who despite her busy schedule, she has found this time to give this uh, occasional mm -hmm. time for us. Ma'am, thank you so much for being here. We have learned a lot. Uh, I was thinking what question I have to ask because you have really you have explained everything with, uh, without asking doubts. So like my husband and ma'am ma said, uh, no doubts was there. And you two are thinking what thing I have to ask. You have covered everything. But it's very difficult to practice in our daily life, but you have insisted us to practice that one. It was so happy and thankful for that, ma'am. And then I thank our uh, well-wisher, our mastermind, uh, our trainer, Baba Alexander, sir, for his guidance, contribution, and encouragement in all his efforts, in all our efforts he has given us. And also I express my heartful thank to our senior evaluator, Bindu ma'am, and all the senior faculties in NCDC and our 27th batch faculty, Sherid ma'am, for her guidance and arranging valuable many things she's arranging for us that is very grateful for us and thank you Sharon ma'am and last but not the least I thank you my friends for your cooperation to make this performance a resounding success thank you everyone thank you so much thank you ma'am wow super super Anandhi ma'am thank you Anandhi ma'am thank you Anandhi ma'am thank you Anandhi ma'am super Anisha ma'am next we want to welcome our faculty beautiful lovable faculty Sharon ma'am yes welcome Sharon ma'am Thank you, Anisha, ma'am, and uh, Nishida, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, um, miss, everything, most of the people knows, but making it a practical is the difficult part. Even myself, ma'am, I know that uh, I used to share with my students, ma'am, today I have to reduce my weight. I am going to take walking. Today I will make some exercise and all. Then they will ask, ma'am, she remember, did you do anything? Hey, normal weight. <laughs> so we, it's like a lottery. We are making tomorrow, we can do, tomorrow we can do. Like that, we are making that. So instead that, make a spirit that you have to do or start from today itself. No need to make it a pending work. Start from today itself. And uh, drinking water case. Means, uh, it basically should you remember. Maybe breakfast and we had prepared all the things and some any call came or some student or something. So that part will be leaving there and will be engaged in some other activity. So First, give preference your health, then after that, keep to your work. So that is the main thing I want, because we need ourselves. The energy is needed to take care of family, to take care of your job, isn't it? Yes. So that's the part we need to do. And you all are ladies and, uh, and means homemaker and also going to become a teacher. So the younger generations, everything is in your hand. So first, you make the changes in your life. First, of course. You may, including myself, okay, including my, I'm not uh, so focusing only you, including myself. I am keeping myself motivation, okay, I told you, no, it's well done, well done, that part itself, yes, you also need to do. So, from today on, first, from this point of view, make some changes in your life and lifestyle. The way you wake up, make it a, a bright smile, the way you drink water. Make it more health conscious also. And if you are going for shopping and all, instead of purchasing some other thing, go make a list. What are the things needed? Plan a list, diet chart, or plan for a week. Today, this so and so vegetable, so and so has to be all. So, all the we had learned no, protein, fats, carbohydrates, everything has to be included in your diet. So, like that way, you can plan. And I'm really happy, show me, ma'am. And you made the class very nice because it was interesting. There is uh, it's the presentation also very nice. It was very interesting, ma'am. It's very interesting. Thank you. And uh, yes, really, ma'am, really thankful to have such a person in our class. Really thank inspiring, ma'am. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Just make your lifestyle with all the things. Just it's it's possible because just uh, wake up in the mo early morning and do all the meditation. See, even in the class, no one uh, talk about the mental health. So this is what is happening. So we all are focusing on the uh, health habits. So uh, that's the thing. If we if we mind us uh, correctly, uh, focusing on the mind mindfulness. 
we can do in our food habit also so yes. that's the main problem is we are facing if we are focusing on the food habit it's very difficult to uh, make all the things so just to do all the meditations grateful to every time grateful to everyone because we are live alive now we are breathing now so just uh, grateful to the god grateful to everyone surrounding you and be happy always be peaceful and yeah just that's enough <laughs> Yes. Well done, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Again, ma thank you, Shami, ma'am. Okay. We can meet any work, any time. Of course, ma'am. Sure. Okay. Thank you so thank much you, for calling me. Okay. Again, thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, bye. And I wish you all the best because uh, actually I love teaching and uh, uh, see, I can see all the uh, beautiful things Uh, teachers are emerging from NCDC, so I wish you all the very best in your future, and uh, just transform your young, your students, your children to the world of uh, learning, happiness, world of full of fun, and everything. Thank, thank you, you ma'am. Ma thank you, thank you, and thank you, Sajina, ma'am, for calling me. Thank you so much, ma'am. Wonderful class. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay then. Bye. Can I leave? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can wind up the section with the national anthem. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Yes.